So that's why I'm, I'm always ranting and like, what the fuck? All the new blood and new wave coaches, they, you know, they talk a big talk and this and that. And behind the scenes, they've been with 100 girls or 120 girls or whatever. Not even 100 girls yet in most cases. Okay. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to go over my favorite field report of all time that was written about me by another person. He was uh, Matt 281 on the RC Nation forums. He had the highest view count field report thread. He was extremely uh, trusted and respected on the forums. He came and spent, he had, at the time of this post that he made, uh, which he made back in 2015, <clears throat> he had made 2,289 posts, okay? And I was friends with this dude. Uh, I'd met him through the community and he'd only had about 60 lay count at that time. But I was at around 450 and he came and spent some time and watched a boot camp of mine when I was instructing other students. And he made a write up about it, which is one of my favorite reports as you'll see why I was able to pull two different threesomes in one evening in front of this dude. Okay, and he detailed his his experience watching. So I wanted, I wanted to give you guys like a look into where my game was at 450 lay count back in 2015. Okay, but before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new videos every single day. And if you are struggling with the game, which I know a lot of you are, whether it be with texting, with setting up your online profile, with how to run your cold approach in night game and day game interactions, how to run your dates, how to close back at the house, how to retain, all these different things have systems behind them. And I can teach you those optimized systems very, very quickly. I have almost 14,000 phone numbers in my phone. I'm up to 1,368 girls. Me and two of the girls in the house just pulled a two set of two girls from the club over the weekend. Ended up having a five sum. They're gonna come on camera and make a separate video about that. But I have this game very, 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 very well figured out, okay? If you want to plug into an optimized strategy and start sleeping with 50 to 100 girls a year, jump on a free 30 minute call with me, link in the description, and we'll go over that. So let's jump right into this field report here. And I'm, I got my little windshield on the microphone here so we don't have a bunch of fucking wind noise. So, uh, and we'll put up the screenshots here. But this is Matt 281. He says Friday, first night of traveling. Literally cock blocked by Flow Rider in San Diego. Okay, who's a rapper? Sometime, sometime in the afternoon, I hit up JMULV. Phonetic. He's banned. I'll call him J from now on. For those who don't know, this is a guy that used to coach for RSD. Okay, I, I taught RSD programs in 2012 for just a few months. That used to coach for RSD and wing with Derek. Again, I only met Derek a couple times, one of which was a, a huge fucking disaster, but I've talked about that in other videos. Uh, but it says he's fucked 450 girls, has a penthouse suite across from the hottest club in the city, and constantly pulls threesomes and foursomes with his stunner girlfriend. No joke. Okay, so this was six years ago. Okay, you, have, you have little fucking idiots running around the community now. A.G. Hayden, the nobody, okay, who's trying to call me out and challenge me. He's estimating he's about 100 lay count, which is a joke. Okay, six years ago, I was at 450. Charisma King, who's by many accounts afraid to approach. Okay, and we have uh, people like Coach Kyle, who told me personally that he's been with 120 girls. It's just very amateur. Okay, and, and I know a lot of you haven't been with 100 girls yet, but for a coach or a guy that's supposed to be an advanced or elite expert, that's a joke. Okay, and then Charisma King's gonna come on, oh, he's intermediate. Okay, well, I'm reading a field report here when I was at 450 lay count six years ago, pulling two threesomes in a night. Okay, I'm sure he's not anywhere close to that count, nor is any of these like legends that he recommends. Oh, R.S.T. Tyler, one of the greatest pickup artists in the world. Clearly, massively delusional out of his mind. Okay, so, but yeah, that's, that's what's funny. He says, um, those of you who don't know, this, this is a guy that's fucked 450 girls, while well, I constantly pulls threesomes and foursomes with his stunner girlfriend. Anyway, and he's talking about his wingman who he refers to as brother. Anyway, brother and I meet up with Jay at his pad and we chat. Drink a little and he talks about his new infield products he's launching and how he's marketing them. Meanwhile, his, and by the way, at this time, I already had over 100 infield polls on camera as well. Okay, I had that by the end of 2014. And, and, and again, who, who's, who's showing that these days? Who has any? Okay, AG, AG Hayden claims he has five full length infield polls on camera. Good job. Okay, I, I was able to get that in a week back seven years ago in 2014. <clears throat> okay, uh, so let's see. Meanwhile, his, gorf his gorgeous girlfriend is just chilling, obviously not phased by the fact that her boyfriend is one of the best and most notorious players on earth. Keep in mind, this was only a 450 lay count. Now it's at 1,368. He says, um, one of his boot, boot camp students arrives and he shows him a bunch of specifics about his game, demonstrating on his girlfriend, and then having the student try it. I've been going out ever since I turned 21, but some of this stuff was really helpful and practical. Interestingly, his game is all about logistics. That's the epiphany I've reached before when I've gone on runs in the past. But when I'm not going out much, 
point out as much, I forget this. That's really the thing though. How a really good game usually works is basically ignoring attraction or getting it in the first five seconds, or at least having it develop naturally as you're figuring out logistics. The rest is just finding some way to hit all her excuses and get them to somewhere that sex can happen. Long story short, 99% of the shit on this forum is superfluous at best. This is RFC Nation, okay, which was the premier pickup and seduction forum for a long time. He's saying 99% of the shit on this forum is superfluous at best. And I was always saying that all through the years. All the like core things that lead to results are barely ever mentioned. Lots of the major things are never mentioned at all. Okay? And you have all kinds of myths floating around the community and you have the blind leading the blind. And then you have instructors and gurus and coaches that are just massively going for money grabs and trying to keep you on a hamster wheel and rip you off and keep you perpetually confused. Okay? As we heard from the Derek Moneyberg uh, exposed videos that I did. The, the guy that wrote his content, just a young 21 year old kid, okay, Derek doesn't write his content, was saying that the directive from Derek was to purposely overwhelm and confused. Okay, so, so everyone's just massively confused, that's why people are getting such shitty results. And then he says what's possible is, what's possible is just so far out of people's realities that they have to make it more complicated than it is. We head out to the club across the street around 10.30, and start hitting it up. First girl I talked to was a hot Swedish girl. Her and her friends seemed down to come back later. I introduced them to Jay and his girlfriend. I drag a few more groups of hot girls over to them. Everything seems to be going pretty smoothly. Around 11.30, so it's about an hour after we get there, Jay and his girl pull a threesome, and I'm, I'm on my own for a bit. So here I am with the, the girlfriend at that time. We pulled the girl from the club, had a threesome, and then we came back. She says, I'm, I keep hitting up, things are going really well, my phone is dead, so I can't get numbers. I have nowhere to pull with Jay gone. Um, they come back and Jay sees a hot redhead girl he likes and asks me to open for all of us. Blows open, okay? I'd already opened her, in my opinion, hotter brunette friend unsuccessfully earlier, but it ends up being fine. Okay, so to recap, me and the chick that I was dating at that time had a threesome, we came back. Now, he says by 12.30, these girls are all ready to come back with us and fuck. Four out of the five of them are smoking hot and there's only three of us at this point, not including Jay's girlfriend. His girlfriend, however, feels like she's not getting any time to have fun in the club because they just got back from the last poll. So she cock blocks and pulls all the girls to go dance. So yeah, I was pissed at that point because my chick at that time, we had just had a threesome. So now she wanted to like dance and have fun. And I was like thinking, okay, let's pull the trigger again but she wanted to like go and dance and blah, blah, blah. So he says, Jay's a bit annoyed by this, but it's still 100% on. Jay's fingering the redhead. This is like on the dance floor in the club. Jay's fingering the redhead while she fingers his girlfriend. Every girl within a 10 foot radi radius of us is trying to grind Jay's girlfriend. She could pull chicks solo better than 99% of the guys on this forum, okay? And yeah, yeah, just giving a hot girl basic game instruction. I gave her more than basic instruction, but um, they can do really well because they're not gonna be facing a lot of the objections that or they're not going to be worried about a lot of the things that they would be with a, a random guy. Next we find the Swedish girls my first set of the night and pull them pretty easily. Unfortunately once we get up to the penthouse everything goes downhill. They're all super standoffish and not down for hooking up. It doesn't help that Jay is antagonizing one of them while his student simultaneously runs a nice guy game on her from the other side. Finally they leave and the boot camp students do too. A cute girl, now here's where, where th other things come into play. We had gotten multiple numbers, phone numbers in the night. So he says a cute girl who's, who Jay's girlfriend danced with earlier comes up with her friends. Jay pulls her into the bathroom with his girlfriend and gets his second threesome for the night. The rest of the night is just a shit show of sexual debauchery. Jay is intermittently fucking one or both of the girls. In between, the girls are grinding each other, making out totally naked and in plain view. Hashtag blue balls. I could probably write another 10,000 words about all the shit that went down last night, but that's basically the gist of it. So... <clears throat> I wanted you guys to get a window into how my game was back in 24, sorry, this is 2015, okay, 450 lay count, pulling two threesomes from cold approach in a night out, okay, and this was very common even back at that time. So that's why I'm, I'm always ranting and like, what the fuck? All the new blood and new wave coaches, they, you know, they talk a big talk and this and that, and behind the scenes, they've been with 100 girls or 120 girls or whatever, or not even 100 girls yet in most cases. Okay, whereas I hit the 100 girl mark back in June of 2012. Okay, literally nine years ago. Literally nine years ago. Okay, and even six years ago, I'm doing these fucking double threesome pulls and one. This is six years ago. Okay, and then, and then like AG Hayden's gonna come on. Oh, I openly challenge you. You're scared. I'm fucking scared of you. He's a, he's like a little noob. Okay. He's a little noob. He just started making infield pulls on camera. He thinks he's a hot shot. Oh, everything you say could be fake. Oh, okay. Well, good thing I provide more proof than the entire rest of the industry combined, right? And that's why I go off on these guys. These guys have no business coaching. They haven't put in the blood, sweat, and tears to master this game and to learn this game. They don't have anywhere near the amount of experience I have both doing game and coaching. I've been coaching now for a decade. Okay, so I've helped thousands of guys and I've pretty much seen and done everything in the game. Okay, so I can give you optimized answers and fast track routes to success 
in every single situation, okay? So do not delay if you want that kind of results. If two threesomes in a night and a beautiful stunner girlfriend, you know, sounds appealing to you, then jump on a free 30 minute call, speak with me personally, I'll show you how I can take you from wherever you're at to a very advanced level very, very fast and get you doing this kind of shit very fucking quick, okay? Also, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and press the notification bell for new videos every day. I have the other part of my tattoo about to take place shortly here and I will make a video about that showcasing the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that was enjoyable. There's a, there's a second part to that field report that I'll release um, in a separate video. But I hope that was enjoyable and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.